This is a 42 inch JVC smart TV with a 4K panel. It has a slight issue though and the issue is the backlight is not working. As you can see, as soon as I turn it on, it flashes the JVC logo for a split second and then it turns off. So what seems to be dead is either the part of the power supply module that delivers power to the backlight LED strips or the backlight LED strips themselves. So I got another power supply module to replace the one that is in here and I have two wishes. Wish number one is my diagnosis was correct and swapping this part will solve my issue. Wish number two is it's not the LED strips that are faulty because I can't fix those for now. So let's open it up. First make sure that the television is unplugged. There are plenty of screws holding it together but they are pretty distinct so you won't really face too many challenges putting them back even if you're not too organized. Removing these allows you to remove the back plate which gives you access to all the electronics of the TV. As you can see, they are three main circuit boards. One is the display controller that pushes picture to all the pixels. The other is the main board or the brains of the TV where all the buttons, the ports, the processors, the memory, the built-in Wi-Fi are connected to. Here is the cute little Wi-Fi antenna tagged nicely over there. Then there is the power supply board that we shall be swapping out which basically provides power that is required by all the components of the TV, whether it is components of the main board, components of the Wi-Fi antenna, components of the backlight itself, components of the display driver, all of that stuff. So we can remove all the connections to the power supply then go ahead and unscrew the screws holding the power supply in place. Pro tip, power supplies have capacitors which store quite some juice so be careful when handling power supply boards. Even when nothing is connected to them, they can still properly give you a shock. By the way, if you are loving the stuff that we are making, do lightly tap on that subscribe button. We want to get to 5000 followers by June and we are so close to getting there. Right, now we screw the power supply back in. We reconnect the cables we removed in their rightful positions and we make sure they are nice and snug. Then we close the backplate and finally comes the moment of truth. Will it turn on? Dum dum dum. Looks like we did not win but the key thing here is what have we learned? <laughs> when I switch it on, it is behaving in the exact same way as it was with the old power supply meaning it's not a power supply issue so I didn't need to spend the 80 bucks I did getting this one. Also. We now know for sure that it is the LED strips that are faulty, which I feared the most because to replace them I have to take apart the TV to its bare bits and pieces and that involves separating all the bits that make up the display panel. That's some very delicate stuff. Well, this is another episode of the DIY series. I have another taking apart my laptop and another with Rufaro taking apart his own laptop. I do hope this video helped you learn a thing or two about TVs. If there are any other gadgets you want to see me take apart, hit me up in the comments. Thanks a ton for watching. Goodbye.